I'm going to prime my eyes with Stay Don't Stray by Benefit to make sure I don't have any creasing in my eyeshadows while I'm working. I'm going to take out my Coastal Scents eye palette and I custom this palette myself. I'm taking this lightest shade right here in SO9 and I'm going to apply it with a flat shader brush all over the lid. And then when I'm done applying it onto my lid, I'm also going to use it as a brow bone highlight. After I'm done using the light shade, I'm going to take this peachy shade and the name is Apricot. I'm using the same brush and applying it on the outer part of my lid. Now to darken up the crease, I'm taking this copper color and it's in the color Copper Pot. It's S36 and you do not have to do this step I know it can be too dramatic for working for Hollister or Abercrombie, but for me, I find that it works really great with my eyes. I'm just applying it with window wiper motions, and you can see that these colors just look really nice together. If you really want to go the extra step, you can take this matte brown color in Burnt Umber and lightly stifle it in the outer corner of your eyes. This will add even more dimension to the eye without adding too much darkness. Curl your lashes with a eyelash curler. The one I'm using is by e.l.f. And apply your favorite mascara. I like to use this really lengthening mascara by Tarte. It's their clay Amazon mascara and it works really nice with my lashes because it doesn't really make them like stick together in spider lashes. It just gives me natural length and it looks really perfect for my job. And that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you stay natural and beautiful. Bye everyone.